This is a, a replica of a skull from Nigeria. And it was dug up in 1965 by Thurston Shaw and his team, an archaeologist. It is about 13,000 years old. And my colleague Katerina Havati uh, used a new technique of digitizing the surface of the skull in 1972. And she found, as I did, that it does not look like recent African material. So here we've got a recent African skull, and here's the skull from Iwo Eleru in Nigeria. You can see that this skull is much longer, it's much lower. And uh, all in all, it, it's got a much more what we could call primitive appearance, even though it's only 13,000 years old. And in Katerina's analyses, she found that the nearest neighbour in terms of the overall shape of the skull was this specimen from Tanzania, from a site called Ngaloba, which is, we think, about 140,000 years old. So you've got a specimen that's only 13,000 years old, but it looks like it should be, you know, another 100,000 years older in terms of its shape. So what's going on? So this suggests that human evolution in Africa was more complex, that the transition to modern humans was not a straight kind of transition and then a cut-off. The archaic humans did not necessarily die away once they'd given rise to modern humans. They may have been living in some parts of Africa alongside, in a sense, their descendants, and perhaps exchanging genes with them, just as Neanderthals seem to have interbred with people outside of Africa, Archaic humans in, in Africa could have been interbreeding with modern humans inside of Africa, and this skull may show a reflection of that interbreeding between archaic and modern humans.